Welcome back. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the if function in Excel. By taking the help of few examples, I will explain the if function. This is one of the very useful logical function. The basic use of if function is to check a logical expression and return a value if the logic is true and return another value if the logic is false. As you see in the formula syntax of if, it has three parameters. Logical test, value if true and value if false. Let's look into this basic example to understand what is logic testing. In the cell A3, let me write 1000. In the cell B3, let me write 1500. Now in the C3 cell, let me check whether these two values are equal or not. Press equals, click on A3 cell, type equals, click on V3 cell. This is a logical statement. If I press enter, it returned false because the logic we are testing is not correct. In if function, we can test logics by using multiple logical operators. Here you see the list of logical operators and their symbol. In this example, we use the equal to operator. Let's change the logic here. Let's check whether value in A1 is less than value in B1. In this case, change the equal to symbol to less than symbol. Press enter. Now the result is true. Because this time, the logic we are testing is correct. Now, what does the if function do is, it changes the true and false result to some other value. It can be number, text, or a formula. Let's look in this example. Here I have student name, pass mark, and mark obtained details. The requirement here is to display the pass or fail result of each student. In this case, we can use the if function here. In the D8 cell, press equals, then type if. Open parentheses. In the logical test parameter, check whether mark obtained is greater than or equal to pass mark. For this, click on mark obtained. Type the greater than or equal to operator given by greater than and equal to symbol together. Then click on pass mark. Give a comma. Now in the value if true, type pass within double quotations. Here, take care of one thing. If the value here is text, enclose it by double quotations. If it is number or formula, do not use double quotes. Now give a comma. In the value if false parameter, type double quotes, fail, double quotes. Close parentheses and press enter. Here you see, the result of student is displayed. Use the fill handle to drag the formula down. So, this is how if function works. Let's look into the second example. Here I have the details of few customer and their purchase value. The requirement here is to calculate the discount amount because discount is conditional. To get the discount of 3%, purchase value must be greater than or equal to 50,000. In this case, use if function here. Press equals type if open parentheses. In logical test, click on purchase value. Type greater than equal to symbol. Then type 50,000. Give a comma. In the value if true, write a formula here. Select the first purchase value cell, which is G8, multiply by 3%. Now give a comma. In the value if false, type zero. Now close parentheses and press enter. The discount amount for first customer is calculated. Drag the formula down. Now for customer CD, EF and KL, discount is zero because they did not meet the minimum purchase value requirement to get 3% discount. So, this is how we can use if function in multiple case. And this if function here is basically for testing one single logic. What if you have multiple logics to check? In this case, we can combine multiple if functions within one, which is usually called nested if. But in the Excel versions from 2016 and onwards, 
there is a dedicated function for multiple logic testing, which is the if s function. In the next tutorial, we will learn how to use the nested if for old versions and the if s for the 2016 onward versions. So, this is all about today's video. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing this channel if you have not. See you in next tutorial.